because he likes a boast now and again. <laughs> <laughs> I was just told about that, uh, so I'm thrilled that the players were able to get me that, and uh, also thank you to all the other players in the years gone by who've got me the got me the wins as well. So I didn't know I didn't know it. Fergie was there to see it as well. Ah, uh, well, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm going to I'm going to invite him down to to one of the games when we. Maybe when it's United or down or that, I'll make sure he gets invited to the game. So, uh, good. I hope he enjoyed enjoyed his winning. What have you done to get Marco Palmeiras through the Yeah, he's he's an inc he's a, a handful. I think probably him. I'm going to say being freed up, maybe going from the wing to playing through the middle. I think he needed to show everybody that he can run and he will run. And when he does, he's a real handful. And I think he's grown in confidence. As everybody knows, he needs managing, and uh, there'll be times where you know he needs a, a strong and strong sort of hand. But I've got to say, he's been very good since I've been there, and his attitude's been excellent. Was that the Manuel Lanzini that you wanted to see today as well? Yeah. yeah. Not in the first half because I thought he'd I thought he'd two or three p chances to play, make good passes to either give us a ch make us a chance or score it or create something. And I actually said at the end of the game, it was the other way around. It ended up Marko Anoutovic who laid them on for, for Mano. And uh, I'm saying it's about time, Mano, you, you had a couple of chances to get Marco in in the first half and didn't. But I thought the two of them were terrific today, they really were. Great finishes by, by Mano as well. You had a lot of uh, strikers on the bench, David. Is that part of management you enjoy? You obviously picked the right front two, even though it would have been the front two, maybe a lot people. No, I keep getting asked the questions and I, I keep saying, well, I think Marco Anoutovic, as you're seeing, is doing great. You know, we didn't have Andy Carroll today. Uh, MD who plays well for me. That's why I'm trying to get 200, more than 200 wins, because I can only pick the players who I think are going to get me results. And today I felt that the best ones were were Marco and Mano. I think we've got I think we've got a lot of strikers, and I think they're they're all really good players. Andy, Andy thrives on crosses. Chicharito thrives on lots of balls in and around the box. Andre Oil, good balls into feet and around the box as well. Diafro Sacco, balls down the side where he can run on to. So I think every one of them sort of got a different attribute, which I enjoy. And in different games, I might have to use them in, in different ways. He only named six substitutes, Yeah. I've been asked that a few times there, and everybody, I think everybody's making a big thing about it. I had a reserve game last night, and... The decision was we wanted the boys to play in the reserves because we've got a cup game on Tuesday. We might consider some of them for the game on Tuesday. But also the men then getting one of them in a car right after the game last night and sending them up. Chose not to do it. Chose just to go with, with one less. And you, you've got to go above Huddersfield on the table and you, you mm -hmm. pointed that out in the building again. How Well, I think that all the teams in this part of the division are desperate to sort of take points or, or, or any wins and you know there's probably 10 or 12 teams maybe in that position and for us to beat one of our rivals is a big thing you know there's a lot of games being drawn at the moment and I think it'll, it'll be I think the games at this level are going to be nip and tuck they could go either way I don't think at times necessarily any team's much better than the other but so the games are going to be close but we're beginning to to win on, on the road we've won at Stoke we've won here today and we started to get a wee bit of form at the London Stadium as well, which hopefully that will bode well between now and the end of the season. You said on yesterday that you wanted to produce a performance similar to that start game. Do you think this is exactly what we've got? I thought today there were signs that our performance was it was a much better performance, bigger threat. We passed it better at times. We've still got to go to another level with it, but I've got to say today, and I know that the two boys up front will get all the credit, but I actually thought the team the team performance generally was really good. Angela Bonner, Angela Bonner Zabaleta's played every minute, I think, of all the games. you know, And I actually think Zabaleta's got better in the last two or three games. I think he's improved, even from where we're at. I think he's back more like back to what he looked like as a Manchester City player. Marco was on the TV and the first thing he did was put praise the defence and the team. Good. Know, yeah. You really go into his head or is No, I think Marco knows, like we said at the start, you know, Marco, if you want to run, we'll play you. If you don't, then we won't play you. So I think every week he's nearly producing the highest sprint and stats anywhere in the Premier League. 
and I think he's he's embracing it as well because he likes a boast now and again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers lads.